Hi everyone, this video is to help you learn how to do quadratic regression on both your calculator and on Desmos. Um, the first page of the worksheet is for you to have directions on how to do it, and then the second page is your actual homework. And if you are good at getting that completed and you turn it in before you leave, then I will count it for extra credit if it is correct when I return. Okay, so we're going to do this problem together. I'm going to do it first on the calculator, and then I'm going to do it on Desmos so you can see the difference between the two. But the big thing to know is that you will be allowed to do it either way. So whichever method makes the most sense to you is what you'll be allowed to do. So um, let's go ahead, and I'm going to just open up the calculator first and then go through the steps with you. Okay? So when you go to do regression, which is regression is creating um, an equation from data, you have to get the data into your calculator first. And I know we've done this before, so I'm going to go through some of this a little bit quickly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter the data in the list. So you hit Stat, Edit, and then you're going to do the put the data in List 1 and List 2. So your X's are going to be List 1. So we got negative 3, negative 2. This is the data that's on your paper, so just follow along there. Negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then I'm going to put all of my y values into list 2. So 4 thirds, negative 1, negative 8 thirds, negative 11 thirds, negative 4, and negative 11 thirds again. Okay, so make sure that your list 1 lines up with your list 2. You don't have any extra numbers. Then you are going to go and turn the plots on. So this is to make sure you're able to plot the points. So you go to second y equals, and you're going to hit enter, and then enter on on to make sure that these are turned on. And you want to make sure this says d the dots and list one and list two. If they don't, scroll down. Like if this says something else, then you will do um, second whatever number you need. So like this is list one here, so I would do second one. So once you've got all of that done, you're going to exit out of here so you do second quit. By the way, as I'm going over this, if you need to have it re-explained or I'm going too fast, just hit pause and then come back to it and fill in as you go along. Okay, so now just real quickly hit your Y equals and make sure there's nothing in any of your Y equals. So hit clear. You know, if you've got stuff in here, just clear it out. Okay. And now we're going to make the calculator find the quadratic equation that's going to go with this. So to find any regression, you hit stat, then you go over to calc, then you go down for quadratic, you go down to five quad reg. Okay, so you got quad reg here. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to store the equation um, into Y1. So where it says store regression equation, you are going to store in Y1. You do that by hitting alpha trace and then enter on Y1. And you can hit enter again and hit calculate. Okay, so this is the equation you get. And if you want to see it graphed, then you're going to have to get a window that is going to work. So my recommendation, and I don't know if it's like this on the table, but or on the paper, but my recommendation is if you're not sure, hit zoom um, 6 for the standard window. Okay, that makes it go from negative 10 to 10. And so you see it all that way. If your window is not going to have those nice numbers, like on the homework, you're going to have to pick values that are going to match. So if your data goes from 0 to 20, then make sure your window goes from at least 0 to 20. If your data goes from 0 to 100, then make sure your, date, your window goes from 0 to 100. Okay, so there it is. If you're asked to find something like the... Um, maximum, let's say, okay, so if they want you to find the maximum, or in this case, the minimum value of the graph down here, on the calculator, it's kind of tricky. So we're going to do, to find the minimum, you do second calc, and I want the minimum, which is number three, so I hit enter. I, you see how I've got this little blinker here? I want my, um, want my, the blinker thing to be to the left of approximately where the minimum is at. So I'm just going to scroll a little bit, although where it was at was fine. But see, when I hit the left arrow, it's scrolling to the left. So that's to the left of my minimum. I'm going to hit Enter. 
and then I want to find where the find another point on the other side. So I'm just going to keep hitting the right arrow until I'm on the right hand side of that minimum. And mine is going to take its sweet little, little time. So I'm going to hit enter here. And then see how it says guess. And do you see how the arrows are pointing towards each other? So I'm going to hit enter now that the arrows are pointing towards each other. And there is the guess. So the minimum is at about one negative four. That's also the vertex of this graph. So one negative four. If you get a bunch of nines like this, that's a that's a one. That's fine. So one negative four. If you want to find the x intercept, you're going to do second calc. And now I want the zero, which is the same as the x intercepts. So zero, same as x intercept. And now I need to be to the left of the x intercept. So I'm going to scroll over a little bit. As long as I'm to the left, like right here is fine, but I think I want to get a little closer. The X to the left of the X intercept, I hit enter. See how the arrow is pointing towards the right. Hit my arrow until I keep going so that I'm on the other side of the X axis. So now I can hit enter. And now my arrow is pointing to the left and my X intercept is in between those two lines and I'm going to hit enter here. And then that X intercept, which is also called a zero, is 4.464. So make sure you round these numbers to the nearest three decimal places. Okay, so now turn the paper. We're going to do the same thing on decimos. So let me get decimos for us. Okay, so decimos is slowly opening up. So for decimos, you do have to do, the entering is a little bit different, but once you enter it, again, it's a little bit easier to find everything else. So we are going to type in a table of values. So you're going to hit the plus item here, and you're going to hit table, okay? So it's going to give you x1 and y1. And the same thing as before, you're just going to type in your values. Oops, I hit the up arrow. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 1 and 2. So those are my x's and then I'm just going to scroll up with my mouse or my my mouse or whatever to the top of the y's to put in my y values. So 4 thirds, negative 1, negative 8 thirds, negative 11 thirds, negative 4, negative 11 thirds. Okay, so see what's really cool about decimals is it's already giving you the points. You can see them plotting it as you're building the table. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to a blank line below the table and you're going to type in the, the formula that Desmos needs in order to come up with the regression equation. And the only thing that's weird about it is the way, the beginning way you type it. Okay. So you're going to type in Y and then you want it to be Y1. But the good news is you just type 1. So type Y1 and it gives you that little lower 1. Okay. So Y1 and then you need it to be a, be a little it looks like the tilde from Spanish, but it's just an like, approximation. And you can get that by doing shift um, and then the, the, num the thing right next to the one. So shift next to the one. Um, I don't think it's down in here. It is not. So you have to just type it. Shift the, all the way at the top next to, to the left of one. So we've got one. Y sub one is approximately equal to A, X. You need it to be X sub one. So type the one again, X sub one. Now you want to square it. So if you want to open this menu up, you can hit squared. So a x sub 1 squared plus b x type the 1 plus c. So you're telling the calculator you want to create the standard form of this quadratic equation. And if you look here, these are the same values that we came up with before when we were doing the problem on our calculator. And the good news is Desmos, again, gives you everything all at one time. So there's the graph. And now if I want to find the lowest value, the minimum, I just come over and I find it. So right on the graph, it's already found it for me. There's the minimum, 1, negative 4. Click on the graph, and I want to find the x-intercept. So there's one of them, 4.464, 4 which we already found. And here's the other one over here, negative 2.464. So this part over here I think is kind of weird, but once you get the graph, it's, I think, a lot easier. Okay? All right, so like I said before, if you um, get this finished and turn it in before you leave, then you'll get extra credit if it's correct.